Hey everybody, Rico Knows here. Uh, was brought to my attention, people started flooding my live stream on TikTok just now, saying, Rico, Sam Hart just committed to Colorado. What do you know about him? What do you know about him? I'm like, well, he's never really played that much I do know. I know he's a Colorado kid. So what I know about Sam Hart is he was a high school wrestler, state champ, 200 pounds. I just vividly remember him being a high school wrestler. I looked him up when he signed with Ohio State. I kind of keep track of tight end depth charts on another chart somewhere, like I always do um, every position group, not just tight ends. But it was a big deal when Kate Stover was coming back. I pay attention to all the star tight ends that sign, especially the kid out of Hughes. His name escapes me right now. That's crazy because I always talk about Georgia players. But looking at this right here, Sam Hart leaving Colorado, going to i'm sorry leaving ohio state going to colorado congratulations shout out to him he's going back home he's from colorado uh, but something i never do and i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go and do a live reaction film review to his high school tape now there's only junior tape and i think that's because he was a senior during covid and I haven't found his senior tape, but I'm going to do his junior tape. I've never watched it. What I can tell you is apparently a lot of people have seen this tape. This is a ridiculously high amount of huddle uh, public highlight views. That thing says 35,000. Colorado fans are watching everything they can to learn about this guy. I'm assuming that's gone up like this recently, unless there's something really remarkable in his tape somewhere. Maybe he had a play that was all-time great or something. I don't know. Could have been a Max Preps uh, all-time play. Maybe this catch I see up here with this high pointing the ball. But I don't know anything about it. What I remember him being is a 6'5", 200-pound, skinny, slow wide receiver that they said they could make a tight end. That's what I remember if I'm keeping it real. I don't remember him being dominant in any way, shape, or form. But let's go watch the tape. I've never watched the tape. I only did an assessment when he first signed. Went, went and probably watched a couple of highlights. Went, nope, this guy's not going to make it too deep and left it like that. And that was years ago. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to pull it up for everybody to see. I apologize. Probably going to have commercials. Going to keep them muted. We don't need any copyright, so I'll talk to you guys during this time. Uh, the only thing I didn't do was change my ratio on my screen. Usually, I change the ratio on my OBS so we can watch this in full screen. Won't be able to do that. I apologize. Uh, that's on me. I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. I can scroll roll and make it as big as possible. So let's do that. All right, so watching the tape, he's in a two-point stance. This is a tight end that looks like a receiver to me. Getting off the ball, kind of pushing at the top of his route, catching it, and breaking a tackle, and now he's going to go. And yes, it's Colorado. It looks like snow. He knows the weather well. He's from Aurora, Colorado. Shout out to uh, any movie theaters out there. But in motion, once again, trips right, hitting the flats. He moves like a tight end, y'all. Big, burly. <clears throat> there you go. Open up the stride. Long strider. I like it. He is only 205 pounds in this, so I'd imagine as he puts on more weight, he needs to stay somewhat athletic. He probably is. Like I said, state championship wrestler, I like that. Pound for pound, you know how to use your leverage. I know you're competitive. I know you work hard. I was a wrestler in high school. I wasn't a state champ. Shout out to me. I was all CIF. But this guy right here looks like a beast. Now he's at defensive end, just playing. I like it, making plays. And obviously, you're one of the better players on the field. It looks like a terrible level of football, if I'm being honest. I don't know how somebody with this competition goes to Ohio State outside of preferred walk-on, but it just doesn't feel like he's ever... Oh, there you go, high-pointing the ball, great catch. He's ever warranted those 35,000 views, though. That just doesn't feel like it. I've seen better tight ends on my high school film reviews, for sure. There's a catch, getting out of bounds. I'm fine with it. Good body control, once again. You're, you're a victim of your offensive scheme in high school, so you do what you do. I just look for athleticism, the ability to break tackles, looking strong. Like, you know, he's great. He's running through arm tackles. I'll buy it. He's outside. That's your X wide receiver right there. I'm even. I'm leaving. I'm high-pointing it. There's a little guy covering him. Yeah, this is not your traditional tight end. First time I've seen him in a three-point stance at the goal line. Really good. Once again, I think pound for pound, this kid's probably really strong. Probably got good grip strength. It's third and long, stopping short of the sticks and still getting there. I'm cool. Is that third? It looked like the box says third. My goodness, he's still up. These little minions don't want to tackle him, bro. Everybody looks tiny. There he goes against a big tackle. What a great move. Hey, probably should have been a DN. Stud move. I like that. Here we go. 
Same route. I saw this in film already, coach. There it is. High pointing the ball. People afraid to hit him. I'd imagine six five in high school. They just called him skyscraper. There it is. Oh my goodness. Block the man off the screen. I'll take it. Somebody tell his mother this is how we play the game. There it is. I call those flag routes, by the way. Good job. He's a tight end, three-point stance, top of the screen. There's the double team. Oh, my goodness. Get out of here. Very clean block. Dude, I love it. That's an impressive block. That looked, that looked good. It might have even been an illegal man downfield if we were trying to throw it. Let's not cover the 6'5 tight end. I know. In the snow. Defensive end, great. Great forward lean. Big-ass tackle. It's a bull rush. That's okay. It's all right. Man in motion, going to hit the flats. Where is he going? Same shit, different day. We say SOS, same old shit, y'all. That's what we say. If we want to run the same play twice, we just yell it from the sideline, SOS, and they do it again. Ooh, caught him slipping. That DB is done. He's toast. You got parents watching. Third down. Look at him just seal the corner. It's a great block, man, but it's also on a, on a, a kid who's not playing on Saturdays. Here we got receiver, same thing. Yeah, it just doesn't look like a natural receiver to me, um, and he feels like a receiving tight end. I think pound for pound, he's really well, and especially if you've been at Ohio State for three years, you've been lifting, and you've been blocking and getting developed at Ohio State, I'll buy it. I hope he's bigger, stronger, faster than he was in this tape. This is obviously uh, one more year of high school after this, and then three years in the Ohio State program. I'd imagine this man is a monster nowadays. I would hope so. I didn't check his weight um, coming in. It's probably around 230, 240, I'd imagine. But there is some limited mobility there. I bet he's a good blocker, though. Hard to tell. There wasn't much tape on him at Ohio State. I saw he played in about five games, but I, I couldn't even find the clips. I don't think I could if I wanted to. I do have the full games recorded, but I just don't want to go through them. I'm, I'm just being real with you. Just being real. Here we go. Same route. Man, I'm picking that off. I'm the safety. I'm tired of this. Saw it in film all day. Here he is in the slot. This man's in slot. We're bubbling it. Let's go. Give him space. Let him work. That ref throwing flags because he don't know any better. Yeah, so this tape looks about, uh, this is a 10-minute long tape. I'm not going to keep you guys for 10 minutes. I'm just going to tell you, it looks like a high school kid that was much larger than his competition. I hope he's developed into a hell of a blocker. The receiving leaves a lot to be desired for me. I like to see a more fluid athlete out there running routes, but I do get it. He looks strong, powerful, and I get encouraged by some of his blocking, knowing he was only 200 pounds at this time, just blowing people off the ball 10 yards or so. I could imagine what a college weightlifting program can do for you. But, man, his D-line work just looks good to me. <laughs> I would have recruited this man as a D-lineman. That's me. I'm Rico Knows. I'll be here all day, y'all. Well, I hope you guys are excited about the newest addition to Colorado. Just looks like a, a role player. And if he finds his role in the starting lineup, congratulations. But I'd, I'd imagine they need to find a blocking tight end. They didn't have one on the roster last year. They really didn't. So anybody can help chipping those defensive ends and help tackles out when they need them most. Um, it'll be exciting stuff. Your friends don't know. But Rico Knows. Peace.